All sorts of time now, running for his life, gets some good blocks, and has the sideline to himself. And he is out at the 31-yard line. And there's going to be a flag, and I think that this is going to be on Arkansas. At the end of the play, it appeared the offensive lineman, Kenny Sandlin, the offensive guard, actually whacks Thomas as he... Yep, you're right. No, come on, what do you got to do here? That goes against the quarter. It's insane. Oh, maybe he maybe spit maybe in his, might have yeah. spit in his face. That's what that looked like. Maybe that was. Yep. Man, taking a page out of the Bill Romanowski book, huh? And John, John Robinson obviously can't see the expert to the word from that distance. Now Thomas throwing, holding, it's Turner, Turner running the other way, wow. and nearly He's knifed fun. through, that He's was down the 25-yard line, a fun play after a nasty play by the quarterback Turner. Well, Nate Turner was in a situation where they kind of had that, the ball spotted just over midfield, it's a 50-yard punt, and a 29-yard return, here's Jason Thomas airing it out, down the middle, comes up short. Oh my, he got it. And it is he got caught. it. Nate Turner is down at the two-yard line. Does another good job coming back to the football. This shows the strength of the arm of Jason Thomas. He rolls to the left and throws across his body to the with the run. Now third and five. They're forced to put it up, and it's not going to be, it's going to be painfully predictable here. They've had successive one-yard losses, pushing it back to the five here on third and goal. Juggle caught. Touchdown. It's Turner again. His second touchdown catch. And we're an extra point away from being tied again. And how quickly did that ball arrive? Barry had no shot. Boy, that was an absolute laser. Turner now with some huge stats. Eight catches for 126 yards and two touchdowns with 312 remaining in the first. Great job. Terrific hands by Turner and excellent routes. He's somebody that definitely is going to play on Sundays. Chitani puts it in the air, and it's Stephen Harris. Harris down the right sideline as a flag comes in, as Harris is brought down at the 27-yard line. I wish, I wish they'd have had one of those when I was playing. What do they call that, the do-rag or the skull cap? And uh, obviously reacting as they figure it <laughs> There's an idea of what it looks like. Go to the studio. Chris, Bill, and Rodney, the Dodge. Different halftime report. Well, Steve, thank you. Rod and Bill will join me in just a second. Good first half there. Entertaining battles between the receivers and the DBs on both sides. When we come back, the bowl blitzers will drop out of bounds when he wasn't even in the game. Well, Jason responded by spitting in his face, and I'm not sure I wouldn't have done the same thing. But the team responded. The Las Vegas team responded by playing harder and harder. And what they've got now, Arkansas has got a tiger by the tail. These guys from Las Vegas believe they can win. They went to Ole Miss and took Ole Miss into overtime in Oxford this year. And this will be a heck of a game in the second half. If you win, you can celebrate at the strip. But, of course, if you lose, you can console yourself on the strip in Las Vegas here. But so far, pretty mature guy as well. He was a dad at the age of 15. Here's a third and 15 now. See if Black in the defense can make a big play. He pitch it out to the right. He's going to throw. It's Gerald Howard. Now he's going to tuck it and try to run. That's a great block downfield by the court. Provided by Outback Steakhouse. We thank them for all the pretty pictures tonight from the ninth annual Las Vegas Bowl. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Elvis in the house. Guys, this is a genuine team guy. In his first two years with UNLV, he's the featured back. He's an 840-yard a season guy. John Robinson comes in and says, look, we've got to go a different direction. You're going to have to play fullback. He didn't complain, didn't talk about transferring. The six foot 200 pounder said, okay, I'll play fullback. I'll block for you. Play in the special teams, catch some balls. Number 33, a real credit. To the Rebels. Give you an idea what his teammates think of him. The first 10 weeks, they had different captains all season, and the players voted three permanent captains, and James Wolford was one of them. Chitani is set to putt it away. Another low snap. Flag flies, and will do it again. Almost trouble there for Chitani. Snapping should not be an issue at this point in the season. Well, Ryan Hansen is really struggling here. That's back-to-back -back bad snaps for him. And you would think that, you know, on the sidelines after that first one, you'd have taken a couple of practices. But having played that position, Steve, I know sometimes it's like a golf swing or when you're hitting poorly. No matter what you do, you kind of psych yourself out a little bit. 
A lot of bad thoughts are running through number 53's head right now. Previous spot, still fourth down. It's it, it, this this job is so important now, Steve. You very rarely, particularly on the professional level, see everyday players playing. You know how guys that snap for field goals and punts, that's what they're there to do exclusively. Turned into really a specialty position. Almost like the closer in baseball has to come. And another low snap. And Chitani able to get that one away. And it will bounce out of bounds. You see where they mark it. It's like down at about the All right. 19. Inside the 20. Sweet. Gets it inside the 20 stat. The Las Vegas Bowl continues. Here's Hampton. Good oh, pass to Texan to Leo. has been around the backside. Taken down there. Steve Newton brought him down. A quarterback needs to feel this, and obviously Hampton did not. Newton is coming, and he, and he runs right. Nine. Thomas goes play action and looks to air it out. Shows off the gun. Got a man. What a Touchdown. Troy Mason, and the throw is perfect. Touchdown, and UNLV has its first lead of a football game. A 54-yard bomb, Thomas to Mason. What an arm he has, and remember what we talked about before. He rolls to his left, throws across his body to the right. Boy, oh boy, what an arm Thomas had. One of the things that has to be frightening to the Mountain West coaches, that young man right there, a the sophomore. And now the kickoff, and Stephen Harris for Arkansas. And he is taken down by a group of fired-up Rebels at the 18-yard line. Ross Dalton led the way. One of the things that we have... ...dominant quarter, saw them go up by seven with a touchdown. We'll see what the Razorbacks can do here. And it's a run play. James Wolford breaking away, getting some blocks downfield. And Wolford opens up the fourth quarter in stunning fashion down to the 18 of the Razorbacks. A 40-yard run by Wolford. Kenny Hamblin is the one that ends up making the tackle. Good misdirection and penetration on the part... Couldn't really call this an upset should UNLV hang on to win, but out of the you know, little Mountain West Conference, only three teams making a ball game against Arkansas out of the mighty SEC, a record nine SEC teams in bowl games this year. But right now, UNLV leads by 10. Razorbacks will get it with Stephen Harris trying to return. Harris runs into a pile of red shirts, and he is pushed back to the 21-yard line by Ross. Dalton. Well, Steve, I would... And you make a bowl game. Shows you how powerful that conference is. Maybe not at the top, but top to bottom. There he is. As Holmes is running away from the pile. The first time he has really broken one to Dickery. Impressive with this young man's arm. He's shown a lot. Thomas <laughs> pitching to Jeremy Rudolph. Sorry, Todd. And Rudolph bounces off a tackle. Second effort going down the sideline. Will he be cut from behind? He is. Thomas to Rudolph and Jermaine Petty brought him down Corey Harris had a chance at it but missed the tackle and Rudolph the gain of 45 well he showed how strong they hand it off to Jeremy Rudolph and he is brought down at the 15 and not big enough to play power forward at 6'4 Nobody be good enough to lead block for Rudolph or do whatever he College football, the Capital One Bowl Week will continue at the Gallery Furniture Houston Bowl here on ESPN2 Wednesday at 8 Eastern. East Carolina and Texas Tech from the Astrodome. East Carolina. USC finished second in the nation. Here's Thomas. Handing it off to Brown. Got a seam and he's got six. Touchdown. Kevin Brown untouched. And that might seal it for UNLV as the faithful go wild here in Las Vegas. Steve, coming into this game, UNLV was...